took place. How about that, Steve? All right, that's good. We start okay. with the American Dream Derby on the Game Show Network at number 10. Eight contestants get to choose a thoroughbred to race. An avenue of knowledge was the winning horse, which meant Deanna uh, Manfredi won 250000 on all eight horses. Not bad. That'll work. Number nine, Utah, New Mexico. Danny Granger. Big block. He also had 15 points, nine boards. More on this big game later in top plays. Oh, look at this, Elko. Number eight, the World Pond Hockey Championship. Oh, love it, John Butchercross's backyard 48 teams playing simultaneously on 24 rinks in new brunswick canada ralston lake a boston team one of them hey look at this they're also getting a ring. the bartman ball blown up and made into pasta sauce so cub fans can eat the curse i don't know about you but i'm skipping dinner oh. number six notre dame and yukon oh here we go Kellogg taking a page out of williamsburg slip to the goal that was bill raftery Kansas, Oklahoma, number five, Johnny Gilbert. Get out of my way with a putback jam. Johnny Gilbert, it's all about him. It's his space in the Sooners' win. It's number four, St. Peter's in Fairfield. Dang guy had nine blocks. Nine of them. Nine dang blocks in St. Mary's <laughs> 184-78. Dang. Yeah. Number three, BYU Air Force, Nick Welch. Driving down the oh, lane for oh. the jam. Okay, all right. Somebody Apparently had a they meal. stopped doing uh, sit-ups at the military yes. academy. Abs are in. Air Force <laughs> wins. Yeah, it's all about the washboard. Utah, New Mexico. <laughs> hey, the Utes had an 18-game winning streak snapped at the pit. All Lobos, 65-54. Urban Meyer leaves and everything just goes to play. Number one, UNLV, Colorado State. It's Terry. And Terry. Oh, oh, oh Michael Morris. That, that is a swat. Yeah, that's With a salary cap. Taking jobs from other minor leaguers. Can't whack it. That doesn't happen not around Dak, I'll tell you that. Top plays, number 10, Ben Pinkham of New Hampshire, preferring sledding with his rooster friend. What do you think, Drew? Yes. Now you get him to stay on there? Get a stapler in it. Number nine, Oral Roberts from the University of Missouri, Kansas City. Caleb Green goes up, but he's rejected by Mike English. Big time. UMKC wins it 77 to 70. Number eight, Colorado, Missouri. Marshall Brown, the dish and the one-handed wow. slam. Brown goes up, and if you're going to go to the hole, go hard to the hole. Brown at eight, Missouri one. Hawks and Kings, Antoine Walker bouncing it to Josh Smith for the one-handed jam. Now, he knows how to do this. Slam dunk champion with the sweet dunk, but the Hawks lost by 10. Number six, Iowa State, Texas A&M. Antoine right behind the back, finger roll. Check it out again, the sweet move and the even sweeter finish. A&M a winner. Number five, something else I wouldn't do. Andre Agassi, Roger Federer, the two tennis stars deciding to volley way up high. They're in wow. Dubai on top of a hotel. That's cool. Now, the hotel is 321 meters, but, you know, they're 692 feet in the air. I ain't doing it. Raptors and Nets, Vince Carter showing his ex-mates he can still sky once in a while. He had 22. Tough shooting night they lost. Heat and the Bulls, 36 seconds left. Heat down two. And Jones on the catch. Shot. Oh, oh yes! It counts! Yes! Eddie Jones! They're he gonna... put it in at the buzzer and it yes. counts! Gonna... Big shot there, but Miami falls in overtime 105 101. Number two, Bucks and Bobcats. Desmond Mason gets the pass wide open and the fancy throwdown. Mason showing, why wasn't I in the slam dunk competition? Mason at 20, and the Bucks are winner by 10. And number one, Bama and LSU tied at 59, 6.3 seconds left. Off the miss, Ross Neltner tips it up and in. Neltner in the right place at the right time to win it at the buzzer. LSU with the upset victory over Bama, 61 to 59. Your number one top play from Tuesday. We usually begin with number 10, and why don't we do that here? The World Poker Tour. Not the Matador, but actor James Woods. Among the celebrities taking part in this game of poker, Brad Garrett right there doing a little betting, and Norm MacDonald has the poker face going as well. Winning celebrity, five grand for their favorite charity. No sunglasses on Norm, I noticed. Number nine, Bulls and Cavs, Iron Nubel the save, Jeff McInnes to LeBron. LeBron over his head to Robert Trailer. A thing of beauty. Great ball movement. The Cavaliers are winning.
Number eight, something you don't see every day, Rhode Island and UMass. Art Bowens with the heave, and look who catches it. The cheerleader in a megaphone. That will not count. No, you don't see that every day. You don't. Right. Number seven, Memphis Charlotte off the steal. Eddie Bazden flying in for the jam. Got the foul. Charlotte got the win. Number six, St. John's and Syracuse. Hakeem Warwick time in a big way. Hakeem running. Oh, oh, my goodness. Can you believe? Hakeem Warwick. Highlight reel. Sports Center top ten type jam. Top ten maybe, not top five, though. Here's number five. Hawks Warriors. Jason Richardson all alone. What are you going to do about 360 me? And who's looking on? Like Josh Smith knows something about a dunk or two. Richardson at 31. Number four, Lakers and Blazers. How about this for a jam? Kobe Bryant stumbling along the baseline, but still manages to throw it down with authority. Kobe tripped up, but he winds up with 31 points in the Lakers with a win on the road in Portland. Number three, Celtics and Nuggets. Everybody watched the dunk contest. Tony Allen bouncing the ball to himself. Boston lost the game, 107-86. Number two, we got more dunks. Nets and the Bucks on the break. Mike James lobbing it to Desmond Mason. The big jam in the Milwaukee win. Here it is again, or moments later. The same tandem, Desmond, another big jam, and another look. I want to see them both again. Don't you? Here we go. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> That's right. Outstanding work. Then James to Mason for another cram. Mason had 15. And the top, top play. J.R. Pinnock, coast to coast, runs over Ooh. Josh Duncan. Duncan tried to take the charge. GW lost the game. Top 10 plays in Elko. Yeah. Uh, we start with the National Girls Soccer Player of the Year. This is Amy Rodriguez. Outstanding. No, she's also a member of the U.S. Under-19 team. She uh, attends Santa Margarita Catholic High in California. The sisters, they love the soccer. They're the flying nuns. Number nine, Toledo Ball State. This is a Ball State cheerleader, and nobody can say they don't work up an appetite. This is what uh, he did at halftime. Ate a bunch of hot dogs. Riveting halftime entertainment. Hey! Look at the two talking heads who showed up on Letterman. PTI guys. Baseball loves cheating mm -hmm. and looks the other way, you know, except when somebody calls them on it every, you know, 75 years. Baseball right. loves cheating? Loves it. <laughs> Baseball loves cheating? <laughs> loves cheating. Really? Oh, I didn't know that was, I didn't know that. I didn't know when it went to Cooperstown and said, we love cheating. It does. <laughs> Number seven, Marquette Cincinnati, Damon Mason. Mason. You know, he just can't handle rejection. Eric Hicks simply broke his heart. And then after the big block, Hicks is like, now what I do with that ball? Here's a thriller. Middle Tennessee State, Western Kentucky Hilltoppers down one. Courtney Lee for three. He nails it. Lee had 14 points. Western wins, 85-83. Number five, the most exciting game of the night. St. Mary's, San Francisco, Johnny Dukes. Dukes, not scared of heights. Powerful finish. Getting high for the big jam. But San Francisco lost in three overtimes. 76ers and Knicks. Knicks undercompensated and overmuscled. Nice change of pace, and that goes behind the back to <laughs> Dallin Bear. What a play. Andre Iguodala to Samuel Dallin Bear. Wow. You're a poet, Clyde Frazier over there. Number three, it's the Flickball National Championships held in Honolulu, sponsored by Bud. One game came down to an overtime flick-off, as they call it. And the team of Joe Andrews and Christina Bergevin won, and they went home with... 10,000 bucks just for doing that. Free game manicure, very important in nice. this competition. Kings and Mavericks, Josh Howard. It's 16 points. Dallas won 122-113. The Mavericks have won six in a row. Number one, Middle Tennessee State and Western Kentucky. And you're talking L. Grace Wilborn. Getting a lob and a great finish. Wilborn for the love of elevation. He had 10 points, by the way. Let's keep it going. Why not? Stephen Thomas, Wilborn with a rejection. He's doing all kinds of work. More Wilborn. This is the longest number one top play hey, ever. Mike Dean goes up. Will Bond to Will Bourne. Will Bourne meets him for another block. This is the fun part of our job. Sure. Not so top ten. We begin with number ten. Marist, Iona, yeah, and Greg Jenkins of Iona. Jenkins. Oh, oh my goodness. That's about as embarrassing as that show stars without makeup. Wide open. This is the easy one. Well, you think that Miss Dunk was something? Yeah. Brace yourself. Because anybody who sat through this will remember Chris Anderson, the All-Star Weekend Dunk Contest. That was the second attempt. Here's his third. We're going to have to get back to him. That was painful. Yeah. 2005 Ace Group Classic Final Round. You're looking at number eight, Mike McCullough. Oh, McCullough needs a mulligan. Probably a beverage on that 19th Sure, well. many, maybe. Number so I need, you know, a lot of beverages needed for watching Chris Anderson try and dunk this thing. Fourth attempt. 
It's not there. I go back. Yeah, it's ugly. Fifth attempt. He's trying to throw it to himself. Not so much. Can't make this up. LeBron and Shelly, <laughs> these guys are yucking it up. Sixth attempt. Oh, this is hideous. J.R. Smith rooting it. All right, we'll come back to Chris. Please don't. Number yeah. six, Xavier Dayton. Check out this young lady news. Wrong with she, did she just flash? She got him much. All right, back to Anderson. He's still trying to get this thing down. He can't even pass the ball to himself. I think he's related to point. John Anderson, perhaps. Oh, don't say that. John's going to be did. upset. <laughs> Eighth attempt, and it's down. What do we care? He's in Orlando. Number four, Northern Iowa, Southern Illinois. Chris Foster running the floor. One problem. He slips and falls. I think we all need another I've look. I've fallen, and I can't get up. I'm afraid so. Just, Excuse me. He just trips over the floor. Nothing special. All right. Well, nice segue back to uh, Mr. Anderson here. We're now in the second round. He's got some help. He's got Smith out there to bounce the ball to him because he couldn't really bounce it to himself before. And that really helped. Even that is not helping out. We'll come back to Chris again. Good. I'm glad. Number two, South Carolina, Alabama. Kennedy Winston. So open underneath. And then he's get blocked by the rim. Wait a minute. Are oh, you kidding me? And back another to miss, yeah, another missed dunk segue. Anderson, number one, and finally, he throws down. Oh, that was tremendous. That was it. The pageantry of the uh, All-Star Weekend Dunk Contest. Seven extremely generous. That's it. Time now for the best of Saturday. The Sports Center top ten plays, and we start with number ten, Cal State Northridge in Pacific. Uh, oh, zany halftime entertainment. Two guys on unicycles playing with bowling pins. Who's a slide whistle? <laughs> number nine, Michigan Northwestern on the move. Muhammad Hashad faking the pass, then gets the layup to go. Another look at it. Hashad, the nice fake for the bucket. Northwestern won. Number eight, Alcorn State in Southern. Jaguars on the run. Chris Alexander to Alvin Mott on the alley open Southern. Wins big, 85-53. That's you. You're on Sports Center. And for number seven, Ohio and Marshall, Whitney Davis. The no looker to James Bridgewater on the alley. Pretty. Yeah, that's 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 knowing where your guy is. The two players were high school teammates in Ann Arbor. Number six, Magic Heat, Keon Dueling, right by Jameer Nelson. Poor Jameer. Yeah, you know, this ain't St. Joe's. This ain't Kingston, Rhode Island. Shaq in awe. Heat won 101-98. Number five, Missouri and Texas. Jason Conley driving for the one-handed jam and then takes a big ball. Gets high and then goes timber. Look at this. The Missouri lost 63 to 51. Great effort. Malkovich was great in Con Air, by the way. Arkansas, Little Rock, Louisiana, Lafayette, final ticks. UALR down one. Darius Eason at the buzzer. Eason able to get it in. Time expires. UALR wins 64 63. Hey, they're 10 and 4 in the Sun Belt. Don't count them out. And the crowd went crazy. Accenture match play in California. David Toms had a terrific round. Par 4 10. Lands and then rolls in from 124 yards away. Tom's defeating Ian Poulter in the semifinals. He'll meet Chris DeMarco in the finals. Here we go, number two, the NLL All-Star Game in overtime tied up east and west. Here's the winning goal. Can't shake free. They <laughs> Like a devil's game. That's almost a heel. John Tavares of the Buffalo Bandits, the strong move for the off balance so winner. And George Washington and Dayton in a photo finish at the end. Stolen away with one second left. Elliot threw it in the hole for the George Washington winner. Yeah, the Colonials getting the job done. Elliot just let it go and then keep moving. Very emotional. 62 59 win for the Colonials. You know, it really was a tough call, but we decided to make the top plays Oscar style. Oh, whatever. whatever. Number 10, best actress, Vanderbilt, Georgia. Ashley Early of Vandy with a ball down two. Time running out. Early almost has it stolen, then loses it on the shot, then catches it, and she would make the second shot to send the game into overtime. Vandy won in OT. That's pretty good. I got best visual effects here at number nine. The light heavyweight division, Alan Green with two huge right hands, drops Sebastian Hill. Alan Green would go on to win the fight, you think? Six, seven, just, just good morning, good afternoon, and uh, good night. That is visually enticing, no yes. question about it. 
But number eight is best cinematography. National Lacrosse League All-Star Game, Gavin Proud. Diving and scoring. Watch the replay as he scores, hopping on one foot. Hop, 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 and he scores. Game tied at 10, John Tavares, with a defender all over him, dives, and he'll score the game winner. East wins 11 to 10. Good stuff from the National Lacrosse League All-Star Game. And that brings us up to number seven, best adapted screenplay, Hakeem Ward, a big slam versus St. John's. Hakeem running. Six best actor J.R. Pinnock. Pinnock of GW gets a major air, throwing down with a ridiculous slam against Xavier. You need more than one look of Pinnock who can do some things in the air. And the best foreign language film, Andre Agassi taking on Roger Federer, and they are in Dubai at a hotel playing tennis on a helipad over a thousand feet up in the air. I'll take your word for no, it. Nobody's diving for any balls up here. Number four, best director, Accenture Match Play Semifinals, David Toms. Directing this 124 yards away, and he directed it right on the green, and he somehow urged it to roll back in the hole for the Eagle. Toms would win the title Sunday easily over DeMarco. Number three, best supporting actor, it would be Mike James. With the alley to Desmond Mason for the big slam. See, supporting assist. Got it. Seconds later, James again to Mason. Again with the big alley. Your best supporting it. Number two, best sound. Stetson against Mercer after missed free throw for the tie. He missed the last. At the buzzer for the win. Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! James Odoms! Oh, my James Odoms! James Odoms has ended Stetson's season. And, of course, the big one, the best picture. GW Dayton, Carl Elliott of George Washington steals it, throws up the prayer just past half court, wins it, and keeps right on going down the red carpet. George Washington wins it 62-59. to 59. Your Oscars.